Hi guys, welcome back to Umbukai. So, in today's video, I've been sent a package. But Dad, where is it from? So this is from a company called Popper Soap, and they specialise in solar water solutions, water pumps. They do backup batteries for water pumps and other bits like that. Let's see what's in the box that they've sent us. Let's go. So this is the wildlife pond we plan to put the pump in and the pump that we've been sent will replace this one here as you can see it's in the middle of the day and um, this is all we're getting out of it so it doesn't provide much circulation at all to this small pond now while me and leo show you what's in the box nikki's gonna get all this blanket weed out and give the pond a good tidy up so time to unbox but first this is a billing 20 watt solar fountain. So let's un start unboxing. So we've got the, the manual here. I'll just put that to the side, we'll read that in a bit. Some sort of box, we'll have a look what's in there. Two. A few bits. I think. I guess oh. wow that's quite a big difference between the size yeah. of that solar panel and the one that um, your mum's currently using what's in the smaller box let's check it out I'll leave that there so I don't damage it let's have a look that must be the pump in there is it oh yes yeah it's the pump I've got the the spiky things that are like filters and then we've got the actual pump itself all right ow <laughs> yeah so this is what we've got in the kit we've got the solar panel the pump a lift tube if you're going to use it with a fountain like this there's a few different applications for this we're going to use it along this method there's a few different connecting tubes that you can use to get your water depth right so this part just needs to be just sitting just out the top of the water so i imagine you have to cut these pipes to get it to the right there there's a few there's a few different pipes and fittings let's go drop it in and see how deep it is in the wildlife pond oh yeah okay. So Nikki's done a fantastic job of clearing this wildlife pond up. She's got rid of most of the blanket weed. There's still a lot of duckweed at the top of there. And we're just gonna try and get an umbrella to show you. There's loads of newts in here, but we can't see because of the glare. Here's a little newt. Have a look. And there, and there's quite a few in here. Frog, see the frog, Leo. Where's the frog? Oh yeah, at the back. Oh, yeah. You stick it, said. Oh up. yeah, there's a frog look in the back corner. Right, let's pop this solar pump in and see if the stick needs cutting down. Well, that looks like it was made to measure. It says it just wants to be just above the water. That looks like it does in the instructions. Okay, let's uh, find somewhere to put the solar panel and we'll connect it all up. I'm, gonna, I'm going to feed the cable 
to the back of the pond. Got a cocalia. Yes. So I've threaded the solar wire up the fence and I just put a piece of wood on a 45 there to give the panel more sunlight. Hopefully we can stick the panel on there now. Oh. oh! Wow, come on straight away. <laughs> no priming necessary. God, that works better than the other one straight away, doesn't it? Feed the wire back down the fence. I've just taken the fountain off to see what it would be like without it. And look how much water is getting moved by that small pump. 20 watts, they do a 50 watt version as well. Very impressed with that. Okay. Just noticed on the side, there's a plus and a minus. Wonder if that's for the... So I've just switched this onto the lowest setting and it's going much higher than it did before. That's not bad considering that's just free water movement from a solar panel. So we do have this Buddha water fountain and this runs off mains electric. I'm wondering if we can put this on the back of Nick's pond and have the water pumped through it and then coming out the hands at the front. That'll look really cool. But for now, she has filtered water, small small sponge in it, but doesn't need no more than that. And you can see the difference between the size of the panel that we had at the beginning and how much water we've got this. So this is about half the size of the panel. Oh. And straight and straight away you can see how much better it is because this thing was hardly working at all. I mean, let's... Pathetic that, isn't it? <laughs> so it appears that the feeder is looking a bit low. So I'm gonna to top that up and clean, I'm not clean, sorry, uh, pack away all the tools while Dad is gonna show you the website for the company. This is Popper Soap's Amazon store. They also have a website with all the information on all their products. This is a variety of the water pumps they do. They do 12 to 50 watt solar pumps, even a 55 to 75 watt solar pump. They also do backup batteries, so you can still run the product at night. It will charge up with the sun during the daytime and release the energy during the night. There's also other products like the twin solar kit there and a blade. So you should be able to make a great pond waterfall with free electric, saving you guys a bit of money. Very cloudy and yet it's still working that well. God, the other one needed direct sunlight. 
Well guys, that is a wrap. I would personally like to thank the guys at Popper Shop for contacting us, sending us a product to try. And it is an absolute wonderful product. It works really well. There is a link in the description and the discount code. There's a link to the website and their Amazon shop and there's a discount code that you can use to save yourself 10% off it. I certainly will be having a look at how much water these solar pumps can move to wonder if it's worth powering a blade. Save myself watts of electricity and do it for free with the sun. Something that I will be experimenting with, so I'm sure you guys will see more stuff of that coming. I'd also like to thank all of our subscribers, new and old, for your continued support with the channel. We really do appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing it. It's free and it really helps us out. Guys, we'll see you on the next one, which hopefully should be the next episode of the Pond Build at Grandpa's. It's nearly finished now. We'll see you then.